Thank you all so much for being here, and I'm thrilled to tell you about our fight for science right here in Louisiana. And this state, I really feel like, is addicted to creationism. Our first creationism law was the Balanced Treatment Act for Creation Science and Evolution Science. And it, set, it really was the first big creation ca creationism case in recent memory. And the Supreme Court, in this case, Edwards versus Aguilar, overturned this law and established that in public school science classes, you cannot teach creationism because it's not science. And <laughs> so, so that, was, that was the first big case. And you'd think, after having one creationism law overturned by the Supreme Court, we wouldn't pass another one. Except in 2008, we did. We passed the Louisiana Science Education Act. And this is a really clever law. It never once mentions creationism or its offshoot, intelligent design creationism. And instead, it just allows supplemental materials that critique evolution to be brought into public school science classes. And that sounds reasonable. Everyone want, you want to have critical thinking. You want people to see all the options in science. But this law is not about critical thinking. You don't need a law to make critical thinking part of science class. If a science teacher is doing a good job, students will learn how to think critically. The only time you need a law mandating critiquing of an established scientific theory is when it's about sneaking something that's not science into science class. And so that's exactly what the Louisiana Science Education Act does. The sponsor of this law, Senator Ben Nevers, said it was quite simply to have creation taught wherever Darwin's theory was taught. And our governor, Bobby Jindal, explained that this was about having both sides taught too um, in response to whether creationism is taught in public schools in Louisiana. And so it really comes down to the simple fact that creationism does not belong in public schools. And it doesn't belong because, again, it's not science. You can talk about it in a comparative religions class, in history class, in English class, but it's not science. And so science, is, science meets the scientific method. You, you have a theory, you have a hypothesis, you retest and te test and retest this hypothesis. The, res the results, there are specific conditions that would prove these results false. If you get them, you'd have to go back to the drawing board and start working again. And you can always, there's always a place to grow when you do science, when you test it. Every time you discover something, there'll be something new to learn. And it's also, most importantly, it's a study of the natural world. And creationism meets none of those standards while evolution does. And all the evidence backs evolution. So it's quite simple that that should be what's taught in public school science classes. And again, this is not an attack on religion because there's plenty of places for religion, from churches to at home and to even in public schools where you talk about it in the appropriate setting. You talk about the history of religion, and talk about comparing different religions from all around the world in a balanced way in a comparative religions class. And that's where religion belongs. But it's just, it's not science. It says nothing, it, it's not meant to speak about the mechanisms that make, that the way we understand the mechanisms of the natural world, it's meant to speak about other things. It's a different sphere. And so, Again, the Louisiana Science Education Act is a creationism law. And I mentioned Governor Jindal. It, he explained exactly what the purpose of this law is for. He said, we have what's called the Science Education Act that says if a teacher wants to supplement these materials, if the school board's okay with that, if the state school board's okay with that, they can supplement these materials. I've got no problem if a school board, a local school board says, we want to teach our kids creationism. Some people have these beliefs as well. Let's teach them intelligent design. And then he asked, what are we afraid of? And what I'm afraid of is we're going to confuse students about the nature of science and religion, where science belongs, where religion belongs, and how they intersect. And we're going to confuse students about the scientific method. And because it's, it doesn't just, if you undermine students' understanding of biology, they're not going to be able to go into any biology field later in life, but they're also going to struggle in all their other scientific th fields. Because if you get taught the scientific method doesn't apply in biology, does it apply in chemistry? Does it apply in any other science class? Does it apply in physics? Is gravity only a theory too? And, and so that, that's really, that's sort of the core threat to teaching this is it's not just an attack on evolution, which is bad enough, but it's an attack on all of science to teach creationism in a public school science class. And we, can, we, we know this law is being used. Around the country, there's already roughly 13% of teachers openly teach creationism in public schools, whether they're in Louisiana or elsewhere where they don't have a law to protect them. And another 60% either teach both sides or don't teach evolution at all because they're either afraid of the backlash they may face for teaching science or they don't know the science well enough to teach their students. So it's a real problem and this law only 
protects teachers who would do the wrong thing and not teach real science in their classes. And so this is enough about Louisiana though. We get made fun of all the time. I grew up, I grew up here and I would leave state with my family every year and I, get made, I would go to Connecticut and I get made fun of every year when I go up there because everyone would say, you're from Louisiana, you're stupid. And so as like a 10, 11, 12 year old kid, I, I would start explaining, I'd say, I'm Zach, I'm from Louisiana, but I'm not stupid. And it's how I introduced myself to all these other kids from around the country. But, so, but it's really, it's not just our problem. There's creationism bills introduced all across the country, not just in the South, not just in Louisiana, but as far north as I've seen bills in New Hampshire, in Montana, in Colorado, in Florida, all around the country. It's not just our problem. And we, in Texas, where I'm living right now, we now, it just came out recently that the largest charter program in the state of Texas is teaching creationism, where it's teaching, it's teaching gems like the fossil record is sketchy, and leading scientists doubt the age of the Earth. Um, and also their history material is subpar. I'm, a, I'm actually a history major. And so that hit me the hardest, I think, where they explained that the uh, cause of Japan's involvement in World War II is that the samurai were expansionist. Now the problem is the samurai were disbanded in about 1876, I think, which is a little bit before World War II. So it's, this is also, again, it's not just a Louisiana problem, it's also not just a science problem because these schools that tend to teach bad science often teach biased history that doesn't necessarily reflect reality. And so I think we all have to fight back. And anyone can do that. It's not hard to write a letter to your state representative or your state senator. You can call your school board members or even it's as simple as talking to your friends, your family and explaining what evolution is, explaining the evidence for it, explaining that there's a wide variety of faiths who support the teaching of evolution. My favorite quote is one from Pope, Pope John Paul, which is, there is no conflict between evolution and the doctrine of faith. It's a great quote to use if anyone thinks there's a conflict and say, well, if you are one of the world's largest religions, there's no conflict. Many mainline Protestants agree there's no conflict. Many other people, many faiths, agree there's no conflict between evolution and their faith. So that's a, that's a point I think while I'm here at Centenary, it's very important to hit and help get that message out. And in the repeal of the Louisiana Science Education Act, we actually have roughly 14,000 clergy members on board from the Clergy Letter Project, which is an organization that has clergy members affirm their support for teaching evolution in public schools and their support for evolution. And so when I was in high school, I knew we had this law. It passed my sophomore year of high school, the summer before that. And I really, I could never believe it passed. And I, I was waiting and waiting for an adult to come take on this law and fight back against it. And I waited a year, and I was a junior, and no one did it. And I waited another year, and it was before I was a senior in high school, and I realized no adult seems to care about this. No one really seemed to care about it as much as I did. And so I thought I had to stand up and really lead a repeal at that point because it was my last chance that I knew I'd be in the state. I knew I'd be a student who, while I wasn't being taught creations myself, this law did affect, this law like, sort of played a role in my education. And so I decided to launch a repeal. 